Hey guys, welcome back to another infertility checkup. It's been a while since I have posted, but I decided to do something that I wanted to share with you guys, and I don't know if I'm going to be sharing this right away, or if you're hearing about it after the fact, I'll decide. But I have decided to take Clomid. I decided to take another round of Clomid for this month, for this cycle, because it just so happened that Hans was going to be home this month. He's not traveling. And I thought that he would be traveling during my ovulation time. Um, so, you know, I figured I'm just not going to take Clomid during the summer because Hans is going to be traveling off and on. And, you know, I don't really want to worry about the adverse side effects like headache and being extra tired. So I had planned to take the summer off. Well, then I found out that Hans was going to be home this cycle and I had a month off. I felt like that was enough. It was refreshing and I, you know, I wasn't stressing at all. Obviously, I didn't end up pregnant, but I didn't think I would. So, yeah, it was just kind of a spur of the moment decision because I was talking to Hans on Thursday night, which was cycle day one for me. And I was like, hmm, well, since you're actually going to be home, like, I wonder if I should take Clomid. And he was like, yeah, I think, I think you should do it. He really wanted me to do it. And because of that, it just got me excited thinking that, you know what, let's just increase our chances. I haven't had any like bad side effects, just normal. So here we are. Today is cycle day, let's see, three, four, five. Today's cycle day five for me. So I started taking it on Saturday. Kind of a weird thing that happened was, um, my doctor was possibly not going to prescribe me the rest of the prescription that I needed to complete this Clomid cycle. So here's a little backstory. Um, so I decided on Friday night really late that I was going to do Clomid and I had leftover prescription from my old doctor because she prescribed it wrong. Anyways, it's the same exact medication and dosage that I had taken when my current doctor prescribed it to me. So. I knew my doctor was okay with me doing several cycles of Clomid. However, I knew that she would definitely want to see me before starting a new cycle because she wants to do a pregnancy test, which I knew I wasn't pregnant, but I know that's their protocol. But it was kind of like, well, am I gonna just decide to do this knowing that I still need one pill to complete the prescription? And you know, hopefully my doctor is going to pres prescribe it, or do we just skip this month altogether? I mean, of course we can try naturally, but that hasn't worked for us before. Um, so I went back and forth like all day, and the reason why I didn't talk to my doctor, I don't know why I keep snapping, is because I, so I waited until after the office closed on Friday to really get into thinking, which is really dumb. I could have just called earlier in the day and I meant to, I really meant to, it was on my checklist, on written in my planner, call a doctor and talk to her. But by the time I looked at the phone to call her, it was seven o'clock, like the day went by so fast and there was just a bunch of crazy things happening on that day and so I was like, oh my gosh, like it's too late now because I didn't call. But <laughs> Hans and I decided, you know what? I have enough prescription to get me through the weekend. Then I'll call on Monday and my doctor will probably prescribe it. And she almost did not. <laughs> her office called me today and I talked to the medical assistant, told her what was going on, said, you know, my husband's not going to be traveling. Like, and it was all of a sudden thing. He's going to be home now. We wanted to take this chance and do Clomid while he's home and she made it seem like it was probably going to be okay but then when she called back she said I'm really sorry your doctor doesn't feel comfortable with uh, prescribing you a partial prescription from a previous doctor and I explained to her that you know this doctor is my current doctor this was just leftover medication same exact medication that I followed the same exact rules I mentioned that my doctor already told me that she was fine with me doing Clomid several months, so I get I get why they were being a little hesitant, but I really thought it through and I thought it would be okay, and so I was super bummed when she was, she said, anyways, so she was like, you know what, doctor, your doctor's right here, so why don't you talk to her? So I talked to her, 
And here's the problem. The medical assistant actually told her that I started taking Clomid on cycle day one. And if you guys know anything about taking it, you actually have to start taking it on either cycle day three or five. I don't think there's a cycle day four. It's three or five. At least that's what typically happens. So for some reason, the medical assistant told my doctor I started taking it on cycle day one. So my doctor said, I can't prescribe you the additional pill you need because like you messed up, you did it wrong, it's not gonna work. And it was so weird because I was like, I literally never, I specifically said that I started it on cycle day three. I told her what day it was, on a Saturday was when I started it. And so anyways, after I talked to her, she's like, okay, I'm gonna do it this one time for you. Um, I don't know why your last doctor gave you more pills than you needed. I was like, I don't either. She didn't know what she was doing and I had them. I didn't think, I thought it was just a normal thing that doctors would prescribe more than one cycle worth if you were planning to possibly take it for that many times. Of course, they didn't know if you were gonna get pregnant or not. Anyways, so I know that's kind of a long-winded story, but here we are. So I have two more days to take Clomid. So tonight and tomorrow night, Let's see, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Okay, so I'll take it through Wednesday. Uh, today is, what's the date today? I believe today is the 26th or something like that, June 26th. So uh, yeah, I am taking Clomid this cycle and I am hoping for the best, feeling really positive. Um, and then if it doesn't work, I'm going to stop taking Clomid for the rest of the summer, for real. <laughs> Um, and I think the next plan, after talking to my doctor a little bit about this today as well, is that um, we will do the test where they put the dye up my fallopian tubes. I think that's called an FSH. No, 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 never mind, that's a hormone. Um, HSG, I think it's called an HSG where they shoot dye up your fallopian tubes. It looks for any blockages. And then while it's doing that, it really cleans out your fallopian tubes. So I'm going to do that. And then almost immediately after that, the next time, like when I'm ovulating, get an IUI. I need to talk to Hans about that tonight, but I'm sure he'll be on board. And if you don't know what that is, it's basically, um, it's like artificial insemination. No, I don't know. That's probably way wrong what I just said. I think it, I, I'm gonna have to read up a little bit on it. I know it's different than IVF. You're not taking as many hormones and shots and medications. Um, basically, they are like impregnating you. <laughs> so Hans can leave his sample at my doctor office and it's fine if he's traveling. They will insert that into me on the ovulation day. And I guess in hopes that I have more chance of getting pregnant. So uh, I'm pretty excited to talk to Hans about that. I'm sure he's gonna be on board and I was excited that my doctor brought it up. Um, the only thing is they don't do it at their office so I will have to look into where I have to go and unfortunately my insurance does not cover infertility. This would be considered an infertility treatment so it will be out of pocket. I'm guessing it's gonna be one or two thousand dollars. I don't know but I'm pretty sure it's going to be around one or two thousand dollars so I'll have to figure that part out, it's a lot of money, but um, yeah. So let me know down below if you are just here to support me and listen, or are you going through infertility, have you? I would really love to hear from anyone who has had an IUI, and I would love to know what it's like and what they do. I'm gonna do some research on my own, of course, but I would love to hear from you. So thanks for watching this video, guys, and you know, I'll keep you updated on this cycle. See you later. Bye.